Hello, my friends. I'm Pastor Doug, and it really is a joy to visit with you again. Um, 2021 has been a hard year, and today it's with a heavy heart that I share with you the unexpected passing of Deb Landrum on Monday. Deb Landrum was our worship leader and talented musician that enhanced our services with her voice and skills on the keyboard. She was a friend, a good daughter, wife, and mother. She has faithfully served Wesley Church, and she has contributed mightily to her community. While our grief is great today, we in faith celebrate her life and homecoming as she enters into eternity with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I'd ask that we would all keep Ray, Ben, Barb, and the entire family in our thoughts and prayers in the days and weeks ahead. As I record this, the service arrangements are still incomplete. As we think about what's been happening and reflect on scripture, I wanted to share these words from James 4, verses 13 and 14. Come now, you who say, today or tomorrow we will go to such and such a town and spend a year there doing business and making money. Yet you do not even know what tomorrow will bring. What is your life? For you are a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes. Many of you know that this year I lost my parents within six days of each other. Totally unexpected. Monday, Ray lost, or and Ray also lost both his mother and then on Monday, his wife. You know, countless others, though, have lost loved ones to disease, accident, and certainly through COVID pandemic. In too many instances, with little or no warning, loved ones are taken away. I said to Dee this morning before we got up, if 2021 has taught us anything else, it's taught us to live in the moment and to make each day count, to live our lives in a way that uh, we have no regrets and that we try to the very best of our ability to keep the main thing the main thing. When we experience the tragedy of a lost loved one, it reminds us that there is no promise for tomorrow. The implication seems clear that we are wise when we keep ourselves in the present and make and take time for family and friends. And then I read a devotion um, yesterday uh, in Daily Guidepost, and the writer talked about her loss of a friend, coming to grips with her death, and yet it was the final words that she shared that really troubled me. She had not intended to invite this particular friend over, but kept putting it off. Finally, when the invitation was made, um, her friend was away traveling. She said in her final words to her friend, no worries, we have plenty of time to have you over. But it never happened. The realization hit hard that she did not have plenty of time to show her and her family hospitality. I think today I just want to remind us, I want to join my voice with that devotional writer. We all need to be intentional in doing the important things in life. It means taking time to tell your spouse and children how much you love them. It means making time to go to a ball game with friends or neighbors. It means welcoming the interruption when someone calls us or invites us to have coffee with them. It means taking time to go out of town for weddings, graduations, reunions, and other special events. My friends, with a grief-stricken heart, Please hear me. It means more than ever to realize how brief life really is and taking the time to nurture relationships, to be present with others, and to shower others with your love. Join me in committing anew to live in the moment, to make each day count, and to do what needs done today. Because as our grief reminds us, there is no promise of tomorrow. Amen. Several announcements about Wesley Church uh, and some things that are coming up. 
Because of uh, extenuating circumstances, Sunday service will be held in the sanctuary. We will live stream our service each week, and we just thank you for your understanding and cooperation as we needed to make this change. Mom to Moms uh, is beginning or will be resuming uh, their in-person gatherings on August 11th uh, at the picnic area above our parking lot, and they will gather at 6.30. Everyone is encouraged to bring a side dish or dessert to share, and all moms with children of any age are invited to a time of fellowship. Moms may choose to attend with or without their children. There will be plenty of activities for the kids as well. And our men's breakfast is getting ready to resume. It's a wonderful time of fellowship for the men of our community. And it's held on the last Tuesday of each month at 9 o'clock. Their next breakfast is August 31st. The menu may change a little each month, but traditional fare like eggs, bacon, sausage, pancakes, etc. Uh, are typically offered. Donations are appreciated, but not required. Well, let's close this time with a word of prayer. Let us pray. Lord, I thank you for the life and witness of Deb Landrum. May you comfort and strengthen her family as they find their way in this hour of grief. And Lord, help each of us to have a renewed sense of urgency, to live in the moment, and to make each day count. Help us respond to your nudges and the opportunity to nurture our relationships each day. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you for visiting with me. We're going to talk again soon. And may the peace of God be with you. Stay strong and stay safe.